I, I wanted to to pose a question to you when, when I saw you at SEC media days, we're talking about Michigan's offensive line. And, and you mentioned how many guys that, that are on that line now, the, the older guys, not even the, the freshmen and sophomores, but the older guys that you think could be in an NFL camp this time next year. And then I go to big 10 media days and uh, Jim Harbaugh tells Bruce Feldman that he thinks 20 guys might get drafted on this team. So is Jim Harbaugh exaggerating or is it, is that, is that really possible? Okay, it sounds like an absurd number because what's what's the record? Well, I know forever it was 15, I think. It was it was four I want to say it was 14 for a long time because that was an Ohio State team back when I was doing right. the Midwest for the Patriots. And then I I think the Joe Burrow team may have matched that or beat that a couple years ago, but but 20 would blow it out of the water. It's like breaking the hundred meter dash record by you know a second. I don't know how you get like five more players drafted than the the all time oh, record, but it, when you put it's 15 at Georgia this past year. Okay, fifteen. To just so you're 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 getting five more than the, than the record. Um, it does sound crazy, but when you look at it, like we've got seven offensive linemen with PFA priority free agent grades or better. Uh, most of those draftable grades. You got two running backs. You've got a transfer tight end from Indiana. You've got the quarterback if he comes out as a junior. You've got two wideouts, Cornelius Johnson and uh, Roman Wilson. And that's, there's the offense, you know, and then the yeah. defense, you've got, you've got two good edge players. You've got an inside guy. You've got an off the ball linebacker, junior, you've got three or four DB. So maybe Jim's right. I don't know. We'll see, but uh, a heck of a lot of talent on that football team. And, and, and that's the thing I I've kind of adjusted, especially getting to know guys like you more, how I, I gauge teams, because a lot of it before was kind of talent in and not necessarily development out but michigan feels like even though they don't recruit the same exact level as ohio state they've closed that gap by developing their players as well or better than ohio state which by the way is saying a lot because ohio state develops them really well it does no i think uh and the first person that comes to mind is ben herbert right their their strength yep. coach who I, I forget what the stops he had right before Michigan, but I know he's at Wisconsin for a long time is where I first met Ben um, on the road. He's done an awesome job, you know, and I think that when you build the roster that they have now um, and the, 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 the every year is kind of a new roster construction process, you can, you can fill holes easier or whatnot. I think you can be more patient with the younger guys. Um, so you don't have to play those guys right away. So if you're, if you're forward thinking in your high school evaluations, you might, instead of taking the, the ready-made 300-pound offensive lineman, you take the 230-pound tight end and be patient with them. And then when you get in the upper class levels and you need an offensive lineman, well, then go get one in the portal and plug them in um, and just be patient. So I almost, I feel like the smarter schools are really like going to like at least have part of their signing class as like a developmental group, right? It's almost yeah. like a, a practice squad group. Like we're not going to expect too much out of this, this crew out of this class right away. This is, this is for more three or four years down the road. So no, they've done a, they've done a great job of developing their guys and, and not just in the weight room, obviously coaching them up to showing more on the offensive line. I mean, go down the list. They've had a lot of really good position coaches there. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here. So you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on three. And Oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On3Sports YouTube channel.